Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about how J. Jonah Jameson could introduce Venom to the MCU in Spider-Man 3. If you're new to the channel, I do daily Marvel videos, so be sure to subscribe to never miss out. Now let's get started. We all know that the MCU and Sony's Venomverse are connected, even if it's currently a very loose connection, since we haven't seen any characters crossing over other than Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes aka Vulture, who appeared at the end of the Morbius trailer. And we've heard for a while that Spider-Man could cameo in Venom 2, but what if it actually happened the other way around? Well a new report says that with J. Jonah Jameson looking to fully bring Spider-Man down, and now aware of the existence and talent of Eddie Brock, he could turn to him for help to successfully continue with his campaign against the young MCU hero. Jameson will need someone to find out more about Peter Parker his backstory, the origin of Spider-Man, and all his missions, so he can paint him as the villain he's so convinced he is. And Eddie Brock could be the man he needs for such a mission. Eddie Brock will come to Jameson's attention thanks to Cletus Cassidy. The newspaper mentions his escape, and in the post credit scene of Venom, Eddie was getting ready to interview him in jail. But Cassidy's escape will inevitably bring attention to Eddie's interview, where Jameson will get an idea of his talents as a journalist, and how he can help him with his anti-Spider-Man plans. And since Eddie will also know about Peter Parker thanks to Jameson's reveal, he'll surely be interested in finding out more about him and his actions as Spider-Man. Though how honest Jameson will be with him about his true intentions of bringing the web slinger down is unknown. But Eddie Brock's involvement in investigating Peter Parker could have two different outcomes. Now that his identity has been exposed and he along with his friends and family are in danger, Peter Parker will be on the run. And he surely won't appreciate having a journalist following his steps and exposing his hiding place to the whole world. Especially after everything he's already been through. So this could pave the road for the eventual battle between Spider-Man and Venom that fans have been waiting for. Without Venom actually being the villain in the movie since he's just working for Jameson. But on the other hand, Eddie's work could lead to a team up between these two characters. We don't know if Jameson will be fully honest with Eddie about his intentions on investigating Parker. And he wouldn't be pleased to know that he's being used to bring Spider-Man down. Especially when he discovers that he was framed by Mysterio. Eddie could then help Peter prove his innocence and make way for another bigger team up in a future film. And make way for another bigger team up in a future film. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you think that J. Jonah Jameson could hire Eddie Brock to investigate Peter Parker in Spider-Man 3? And if so, do you think they can make it fit with all the stuff already rumored to be happening in the movie? And if so, do you think they can make it fit with all the other stuff already rumored to be happening in the movie? Or will it be overshadowed or take away the spotlight from more important things and therefore should be left for Spider-Man 4 or later? And lastly, do you think that they would fight, team up, or both? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.